Oh man, that one almost got too big. These things are so prolific. Oh man. Beautiful flowers, a lot of flowers coming on, a lot of little cucumbers, and we're picking every, each and every day. Tomorrow, this one right here will be be ready probably. You don't want them too big. Um, you know, you want them good for pickles, but man, I like them just a tad smaller. Hey guys, John here from Hallmark Homestead. I am out in the garden looking at these national pickling cucumbers. In the past, I have grown Boston pickling, and those have been okay, but they haven't been as productive as this little 50-foot row of national pickling cucumbers. Uh, just fantastic uh, flavor, fantastic crunch, good uniform size, and I'm talking about prolific, the most prolific I've ever seen of pickling cucumber and uh, it's a really popular variety too um yeah i'm just super impressed by them quick little update on our little interplanting experiment here the okra i thinned it the other day the okra is starting to grow taking on several leaves and starting to happen uh the beets have germinated really well uh, and they're starting to go and uh, these radishes here are really taking off. I think probably two more weeks and we'll start having some, uh, I guess, uh, root uh, formation. They, it won't be too long. They'll be ready. Very excited about this. The only thing is the cedar that I used wasn't a very precise cedar. And I'm kind of concerned about the spacings of these smaller seeded crops. So I might have to come back and definitely thin these, but I don't want to thin them too much because I don't want to lose any production. Let's see if I can do this. I caught it. Caught it. Caught it again. <laughs> That's pretty good. I want you guys to check out the uniformity of these. Pretty nice. And this is all from like two or three different days. Honestly, I feel like uh, pickling cucumbers are something that some farmers don't bring to market. It's not like a super popular crop for market. I mean, most people are going to try to sell your straight eights or your, you know, your bigger slicing cucumbers for like salads and things. But I am excited about selling them for market because I think it's interesting. A lot of people around here make pickles. A lot of people want to do it with their kids and have fun with it. And it's just a great uh, thing to sell because most people aren't selling them. So something fun there to kind of play on the market a little bit so i love them i'm enjoying growing them and i'm super excited to not only make some pickles but to sell them at the farmer's market so that you can make some pickles yeah. so guys another cool thing that happened today was that um Roslyn and i went up to um the uh, extension office in molten where we live at and we stopped in and got uh me and christy our growers <laughs> permit growers permit yay so now we can actually sell at any farmer's market in the state of Alabama. So we can sell at uh, Town Creek or Moulton, where we live at. But we could also go up to Florence or Decatur, Coleman, Birmingham, any farmer's market that is a part of the Extension Office and the USDA. Um, uh, we, we can set up and sell. Um, so that's pretty cool. Also, guys, if you haven't checked out our Patreon yet, check it out. It's www.patreon.com slash Hallmark Homestead, and there you can support what we're doing here on the homestead with our uh, bath and beauty products that Christy makes, and also with the market garden stuff that I'm working on for human scale market gardening. So uh, give it a check out, see what you think, and uh, be looking out for more content.